Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking? What's popping? It's D about to react to this RRG vid. It's titled, There Were So Many Red Flags in Halle Bailey and DDG's Relationship. Okay, this woman is always talking about people's relationships. But I like her videos because, A, she's messy. She's a hot mess. But also because she goes back and gets, like, details about people's relationships that I didn't know about. I'm like, oh, wait, that's what happened? That's how they got together? You know, so she's going to give us the tea and let us know uh, what she thinks about the situation. Let's watch. Excuse me. I have announced me and Hallie is split, right? It's life. It happens, right? She's still family. I love her to death no matter what. Now that Daryl DDG Granberry has confirmed his relationship with Halle Bailey is over, many of their fans aren't surprised. Their romance was full of tomfoolery from the jump, and today we'll be exposing all the red flags in their messy relationship. Before Halle's sister Chloe drags us for being in her sister's Chloe business, thing. don't forget to scoop up something to munch a 16 while cross strings are finally back in stock. This story begins in 2015 when Halle came across some of DDG's music videos. From there, she forgot about him for a while. Years later, she saw that he was dropping new music and she gravitated toward one particular song. Oddly enough, DDG had been stalking Halle's Instagram account around that same time. After seeing her post about one of his favorite 50 Cent songs, he slid into her DMs. They started chatting, and Hallie told him she was a longtime fan of his YouTube channel and his music. From there, they had their first public outing at a January 2022 Usher concert. DDG told the Shade Room that Hallie had to carry the entire conversation on their first date. What? They became Instagram official in March of that same year. In May 2022, he hopped on Twitter to write, All I'm missing in my life is a child. Many people took this as a sign that he was gonna try to knock Hallie up, and they told her she needed to get the hell away from him. Months later, DDG stated that Hallie had changed his life for the better. He said okay, Hallie so motivated him to be better and work harder since she was making so many moves better. Why don't I do the blonde highlight? I should do that. Why does he so low? He said Hallie motivated him to be better and work harder since she was making so many moves in her career, including snagging the role of Ariel in the live action version of The Little Mermaid. She was also working on her first solo album after branching out from making music with her sister, Chloe. They collaborated on some music and months later, he seemingly dedicated his new song to her called In Love With A Mermaid. In the song, DDG raps, I fell in love with you from the start. You know you are amazing, you a star. Fell in love with you because of who you are. I was looking like a fool, but you saved me from the dark. The VVS school should have bought your ass a car. Is he rapping or is he singing? Perhaps some of their younger fans admire their relationship, but Hallie's internet aunties could see all of the red flags <laughs> right away. In February 2023, he removed all photos of Hallie from his Instagram. They also unfollowed each other on the app, which led many to believe there was trouble in paradise. He fueled breakup rumors after tweeting, all these girls are the same. And all you ninjas are the same too, okay? He re-followed Hallie after his tweet went viral, but still social media users thought he was trying to create drama to outshine Hallie upon the upcoming release of the live action version of The Little Mermaid. And her fans begged her to drop him. Behind the scenes, Stevie DDG was even messier than people suspected. His ex-girlfriend Ruby Rose posted screenshots of DMs that he had sent her on the same day he yeah, tweeted yeah. about all girls being the same. In the messages, he asked Ruby if she was still in LA, and once Ruby mentioned that he was hitting her up on the same day he was going through drama with Hallie, DDG responded, LOL, you right. Let me go heal first. After getting put on blast, DDG tweeted, I know it looks bad, but it ain't what it seems. Swear to God that it's just evil. Later, after the Shade Room started chronicling the story, DDG responded in the comments section that Ruby's screenshots were computer generated. He also painted Ruby as an ex who still desired him and had been obsessing over him for years. There were a couple of things wrong with his statement. To start, he slid into Ruby's DMs in an attempt to link up and she was the one who curved him 
Online users hoped the public embarrassment would be enough for Hallie to walk away. Instead, it appeared very clear that she was going to continue to allow DDG to play in her face. She took to her Twitter to write, The devil is working, lol. Please don't feed into the lies, especially from a third party. Stay blessed, everyone. One social media user responded, I remember when I was this easily manipulated. Another person added, Hallie, stand up, baby. Him going back and forth with her like this should tell you all you need to know. On April 1st, 2023, DDG posted a sonogram with the caption, can't wait to be your dad. Mm. Fans assumed the mama was Hallie, so they took to her Instagram account and called her a dummy for getting knocked up by him. About four hours later, DDG returned to the app, formerly known as Twitter, to confirm it was just a little April Fool's jokey joke. But no one was laughing. Although he's known for pulling pranks and trolling online, some people had a bad feeling that his stunt was a precursor to his desire to put a bun in Hallie's oven. By May 2023, Hallie made it clear in an interview with People Magazine that she was in love with DDG. She also called her relationship a transformative experience. Mm. Hallie's internet aunties weren't trying to hear all that, though. Based on DDG's actions, they believed Hallie could do a lot better, and they didn't think he deserved to be with someone like her. Online users would criticize her whenever she invited DDG to be her plus one at industry events. Some people thought he was using her for clout to access her connections in the entertainment industry. Others begged her to drop his ass ahead of the release of The Little Mermaid so he wouldn't have the opportunity to pull some kind of stunt beforehand to embarrass her. In a May 2023 interview with Glamour magazine, Hallie confirmed that she heard all the online chatter loud and clear. She said that knowing there were so many opinions about her sometimes made it difficult for her to mentally navigate through the entertainment industry. In the end, she said to maintain her peace and sanity, she was going to keep her private life private moving forward. However, DDG lives his life online as a YouTuber, and it was apparent that he wasn't about to slow down with sharing bits of their relationship on the internet. The Little Mermaid hit theaters in May 2023, and during the UK premiere, Hallie held hands with her co-star, Jonah Howard King, who played Prince Eric. Hallie's fans went absolutely crazy over the images and encouraged Hallie to leave DDG in her rearview mirror and get her jungle fever on with Jonah. Someone who was noticeably quiet through it all was DDG, but he didn't keep his lips sealed for long. In July 2023, he released a song called Famous that explicitly confirmed what a lot of people already knew. He was jealous of Hallie. In case you're one of the billions of people who don't listen to his music, Bestie, the song goes a little something like this. <clears throat> me, 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 me. I'm trying to figure out what we gonna do. How we gonna get to the top? Filming a movie now, you kissing dudes. You know I love you a lot. I don't give a fuck if that shit for promo. I don't want to see this shit no more. Why is y'all holding hands in the photo? You know I'm insecure, that's a no-no. Oh. He goes on to say that the hardest thing he's ever done was fall in love with a famous bitch. And he wants to leave the relationship, but he's too attached. Well, the internet lit his ass up and called him a failed YouTube rapper. Another online user called him an insecure, small little man and a whole loser. Her fans couldn't believe he was turning her budding career into a spectacle. And a Reddit user bashed him for throwing a tantrum during one of the biggest moments in her career. He addressed the backlash in a video, stating that the song was just a song and that everyone needed to relax. In other words, it was another one of his stunts. Hallie's solo debut single, That's Angel, was bad. released at the start of August. <laughs> Instead of her fans focusing on her new music, the attention shifted to allegations that she's pregnant. A writer at Toya's World blog wrote that if Hallie is indeed pregnant by a paranoid, immature rapper who cannot handle her flourishing career, then that's Hallie's business. Later on during a Snapchat Q&A session, Hallie told fans she did her best to stay off social media as she prepared to welcome her son. In October 2024, Disney removed Hallie from consideration for an Oscar nomination in the Best Original Song category for the song For the First Time from The Little Mermaid. Many people suspected Disney made the move to remove her from consideration because she was pregnant out of wedlock and perhaps didn't want Hallie to tarnish their wholesome image. Fans dragged Hallie for fumbling the Disney bag for an immature Dusty like DDG. The couple announced the birth of their son Halo in a January 2024 Instagram post. DDG told Jason Lee that the pregnancy was unplanned. He added, we weren't aiming for a baby, but it just kind of happened. If you have an unprotected boot knocking, then yes, you are aiming for a baby. The day following 
home the announcement of their new bundle of joy, it was clear DDG was ready to capitalize off of his journey into parenthood. In a YouTube video, he said, me and Hallie had a baby together. I wouldn't choose no other person in the world to have a child with. We learn it. She's a great mom. Like, it's crazy. She's amazing. As for Hallie, she shared precious moments from her pregnancy, labor, and delivery. She also admitted she photoshopped her baby bump in several of her online photos to keep her pregnancy a secret. While Hallie thought it was hilarious, some online users were ticked off. Because of her deceiving Instagram photos, they felt she was nothing but a liar. One person tweeted, I don't think people are mad she hid her pregnancy. People are more so annoyed that she went out of her way to lie and gaslight about it. Then she shaded people and called them desperate. Now she wants those same desperate people to know every little detail. Hallie took to Twitter to state, I'll never understand why you are mad. I protected my own peace. Wouldn't you do the same? And I'm gonna share my pics now if I want to because my son is here safely. If you don't wanna see it, just keep scrolling, baby. LOL, God bless you. Y'all yes, saying that, why am I in it? Three months later, fans noticed the couple had unfollowed each other on Instagram and removed some of their photos from their timelines. They also noticed DDG was nowhere to be seen when Hallie supported her sister Chloe's solo set at Coachella. And what is the living situation? How is, how is he constantly breaking up and getting back together with somebody else when he lived with Holly and the baby? Don't they live together? They were forced to release a statement via TMZ where their rep confirmed they were still together. During an appearance on the Keep It 100 podcast, DDG was asked if he would propose to Hallie. Yeah, eventually. Mm -hmm. The whole baby stuff is not planned. Right. You know, so <laughs> it's just like, you know, I don't, I kind of don't want to plan that either. I mean, I got to plan it, but mm -hmm. we got to move at our own pace at this point. Right, right, right. You know, Auntie Regina always come with a message for you young women. Uh, when a ninja say that he'll marry you eventually, leave him. Let him come see the baby. Cut off romance immediately ain't no eventually wrong answer ninja wrong answer but then one month later in may 2024 a girl named sunny exposed ddg for being in her dms and claimed that he engaged in three-way activity with her and an unknown person in July 2024, they finally revealed Halo's face. And as of this video, DDG has made Halo the focal point of his social media content. Halo has gone viral several times. And for one particular video that acquired 17 million views, DDG expressed disappointment that Halo's content only generated $3,000 in revenue. $3,000. Mm -hmm. 17 million views. TikTok, you dead ass wrong. People accused him of exploiting his son and begged Hallie to put a stop to DDG using the baby for a check. Everybody else baby on the internet and some we don't even want to look at and ain't half as talented as Halo, so. <laughs> Let Halo go by. <laughs> the couple attended an Usher concert in September 2024, and DDG was caught intercepting a cherry that Usher was trying to feed Hallie. Although it was a lighthearted and fun moment, drama was brewing behind the scenes. In October 2024, DDG announced their breakup. In an Instagram story, he wrote, I we know, we parent. And this that the announcement didn't mention Halo or the couple's desire to amicably co-parent. And since DDG is known for trolling, some think the breakup announcement is a publicity stunt. As of this video, Hallie has yet to confirm their breakup. Joe Budden discussed the breakup on his podcast by saying DDG was clout chasing and using Hallie for fame. Joe said, every time I see his name, it's attached to hers and it's typically in some clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way. And hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken up. Well, DDG didn't take his comments lightly and proceeded to drag Joe for his age and lack of musical accomplishments. Start asking your kids about me. I don't appeal to 45 year olds that I'm richer than. Pump, pump, like, come on, pump, like, pump it up. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I looked up his accolades and it made me feel way better about myself. <laughs> That's why I don't really have respect for Joe Budden. I did a little research. You a deadbeat dad. And you I get started. D's podcast hit the internet. In the video, DDG I said he would tell his younger before. self to avoid a romantic commitment. He advised men to grind and get their ducks in a row before getting a girlfriend. He added there are restrictions and expectations when locked into a relationship, especially with work-life balance. He added, you gotta always consider their feelings. So it's like, you can't really work how you wanna work. And if I can tell myself something at a time job, that. Many people took this as a sign that DDG had regrets about his relationship with Hallie and was never planning to commit himself to her 100%. As
sense of this ever yeah, planning like to come. I like the side here too. I need to give her multiple angles. Commit himself to her 100%. As of this video, Hallie's Instagram comments are flooded with people telling her that she should have listened when they warned her about DDG. Others expressed disappointment that the couple broke up before their son even turned one, while others think the breakup is for the best. One social media user wrote, By the way, people who are celebrating Halle Bailey and DDG breaking up is because we all know she can do better. Considering these two have had numerous splits and public drama, we wouldn't be surprised if they reconciled. She's still family. I love her to death. I don't think no she matter is, what. This is embarrassing. Everything's still good. Never know what the future holds. But for now, we'll continue to dodge these red flags. If she gets back with this man, she is going to get dragged from here to Utah by, by her faux locks, okay? <laughs> People are going to go in on her. I feel like the bullying is going to be relentless. I think it's best that she moves on, not based on what other people think, but also just due to the turbulence in their relationship, the history. I didn't know they were following and unfollowing and had these issues and that, you know, I, I didn't know all of the details of, of their situation. I probably have reacted to it <laughs> in the past. I remember the, the Ruby Rose situation, but that was it. I didn't know about anything else. Um, or maybe, maybe I did, but I just forgot. Child, I can't keep up with that. I worry about my own shit, okay? I can't. <laughs> I can't remember everything that's going on with these people in their relationships. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely seemed like there were a lot of red flags. But, hey, we all ignore red flags at times. So, it is what it is. Hopefully, they can both move on and co-parent in a healthy way. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!